iPadOS 26 provides one of the most significant updates to the iPad in years. Here in the Multitasking and Gestures section of the Settings app, there are now three different multitasking modes. Full screen is a very traditional iPad experience. In this mode, apps only open in full screen one at a time. We can swipe up quickly to close an app. Or swipe up and hold for Expose, which displays all the recently opened apps in a grid. Single tap to open one. We also still have Stage Manager, which lets us group windows. But in this lesson, we will focus on the new windowed apps mode, which really makes the iPad operate more like a Mac than ever. When in windowed mode, one thing to notice right away is the handle that will appear in the lower right of every window. Tap and drag on this to exit full screen and resize the window. The layout of the app will be responsive to the size of the window. We can make this more of an iPhone size window and we'll then need to use the app in a columned layout. We can resize the window from any corner even though there are no handles displayed. Tap and drag the top of the window to move it around. When in windowed mode, there will be three buttons in the upper left that will be very familiar to Mac users. Single tap here to expand the buttons. Just like on a Mac, red will close the app, yellow will minimize it into the dock, and green will make it full screen. Next, let's open a couple more apps. Notes and reminders in this case. If an app opens in full screen, just tap and drag to resize it. So now we have three windows open here that are layered over each other. Tap and hold on the three buttons in the upper left for arrangement and tiling options. Again, this is very similar to what we can do on the Mac. I'm going to tap this option since I have three apps open right now. That arranges all three into equal columns. If I then close one of these, Tap and hold again to choose the two app tiling option here. Now we have a split view like divider that can be adjusted. We can tile up to four apps like this. So I'll bring in a couple more. Tap and hold and select the quad tile option. Notice we can adjust the top and bottom windows with a split view divider. The apps overlap a bit vertically. This is an 11-inch iPad. I would bet on a 13-inch iPad that there would not be an overlap when in this quad tile view. There are two very useful expose gestures when using windowed apps like this. First is just a quick swipe up from the bottom edge of the display. That clears the apps to the edges and allows access to the home screen. Tap one of the apps at the edge to return to the four windows. If we do that and then open another app, whether in this example, the app will open on its own. When closed, we can still get back to the four tiled apps. Next, we can swipe up and hold. This will display the four tiled apps. And then, as I swipe left to right, the rest of the open apps. Back in our four tiled apps, we can still resize and move any of these independently. The next Mac feature that we now have on iPad is the menu bar. Swipe down from the top edge when in windowed mode and the menu bar will appear. From here we can access app settings, files commands, formatting, view modes, and window commands. Since I move this window out of the quad tile, I can use the move and resize menu to send it back to the top left corner here. So far, I have only been using my hand to navigate on the iPad, but this windowed mode is really great if you are using a keyboard and trackpad. When utilizing a trackpad or mouse, we get a new triangular pointer. Previously, this was a circle on iPad OS. The new pointer is more accurate and Mac-like. This makes the iPad feel even more like a MacBook. 
We can use keyboard shortcuts, click and drag to resize windows, and simply click to close them. So however you use your iPad, the new windowed mode provides the deepest multitasking options ever.